Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video which is all about trimming my trimming techniques and giving you a few hints and tips for trimming on both PC and the Xbox versions of Flight Simulator. Now I'll be doing this by giving you video previews or reviews or displays, let me show you that on screen, of how to trim. Keep in mind it's not easy to capture these displays properly. It's always going to be difficult to capture the essence of actually trimming with your controller. But hopefully it will give you some idea and some feeling for how I trim when I'm flying in Flight Simulator. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. Okay, so let's first concentrate on the PC version of Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I use a rocker switch, which is here, to trim nose up and down. I'm not going to talk about in this video, I've got a trim wheel here on my multi-panel. I'm not going to talk about that in this video. I can't get along with these trim wheel personally. Uh, it just doesn't feel right to me. So I've always used rocker switches in this case, or buttons. In this case, it's a rocker switch on the Logitech Flight Yacht system. As you'll see later on, I'll be using buttons on the Holtas One and on the Series S gamepad. So let's go full screen here and show you how I trim using this rocker switch. So there you go, I'm set up at my usual test bed at London City Airport. I've got the scattered clouds preset on in the weather. So let me just show you that. Scattered clouds, kept the bottom wind layer on so we should be getting a bit of wind there too. Let me just hit record on my camera. There you go, so you should be able to see my trim buttons here and my actions. I'm going to go full throttle. Now, apologies, there's no stabiliser. My other phone bricks, so I'm using a cheap version of a phone at the moment to record this. Let me know the quality, by the way. It's not quite as good as the other, but I will be interested to know how the quality is coming out. But it's a little bit shaky and there's no way to stabilise the picture. Any slight movements of your hands and it picks up. Anyway, I can pitch up there, take off. I'm using trim nose up immediately so I can relieve pressure. And as you can see, my motions are just to dab the trim nose up. Now trim nose down. I'm actually pushing my trim up to trim nose down. I'm going to level off at a low altitude. But these are the actions, just slightly longer than a click to trim. I'm going to bring my throttle back slightly. Just clicking trim nose up a little bit there. I'm just going to level off at a low altitude just to show you. And actually here, let's trim nose up just to climb. So I'm dabbing my trim nose up because I'm in danger of crashing into buildings there if I don't trim a bit higher. I don't want to get that trim out of hand so I'm trimming, dabbing trim nose down there. Don't know how helpful this will be unless you're actually doing it. But now you can see I'm pretty much getting into level flight. Just dabbing slightly longer than a click trim nose down to trim out and then when I feel I can look at that trim marker on my left G1000 there there you go that's pretty much level flight it starts to increase again I'm just clicking trim nose down and decreasing my throttle a tiny smudge just to get that into level flight now I'm not going to touch it because I can see it's leveling off now There you go. And that's how pretty much I trim 
using my Logitech Flight Yacht Systems. So again, it's starting to increase because of that bottom wind layer. So I'm just going to click Trim Nails Down in this case. So whatever button you have assigned for Trim Nails Down, click that. If your altitude starts to rise, that marker on that left G1000 starts to raise slightly. Better come left here because I don't want to crash into London landmarks. But as you can see, I'm pretty much in level flight and that's how I trim in all stages using my Logitech Flight Yacht system. Now the wind layer has pushed us down, but I can see that marker coming back up. That's why I'm not worried and I can see it's leveling off again into level flight. So that's the PC, that's with the Logitech Flight Yacht system. Just leave it a little bit longer, just see if it just levels out again. See it levels out again, so that's pretty much level flight. Let's now move on to the Xbox Series S and show you how I trim with that. Okay, so over on the Xbox Series S, I'm at the same place, London City Airport, scattered clouds presets with the bottom wind layer on. Let me start recording on my phone. And obviously here is the whole task one. I'm using B2 to trim nails up and B1 to trim nails down. I'll link a video showing my recent settings on the whole task one or for the whole task one. I'm going to throttle up. Again, apologies if the camera's shaking slightly. There's no stabilizer on this camera, I'm afraid, but I'll try and do my best. Keep an eye on what's going on in screen, on screen, whilst at the same time looking at my camera to make sure that I'm recording the right thing. I'll pull back gently on my joystick, and as you can see, I'm keeping on a B2 a little bit, dabbing it, so I can relieve pressure on my actual hull task now. And I'm going to click B1, dab it, slightly longer than a click, slightly less than a second, just to try and trim out the aircraft slightly. I'm going to pull back my throttle slightly, that's going to help. And again, B1, trim down, I'm dabbing it, and I'm now dabbing trim, uh, sorry, B2, to trim nose up, and already... I'm coming into some kind of level flight there. Just dabbing B1, you can see my finger dabbing B1 there. Dabbing B2. And is that level flight? It's near enough. I'm just going to pull back my throttle slightly again. If you get near to trim, Near to level flight, so basically your trim indicator is not moving up or down. It's just going to be black with no figures. If you get close to that, then use your throttle. Maybe slightly throttle back if you're slightly in a trim nose up position. Taking a little bit longer this one to get to level flight, but there you go. I'm not going to chase it now. I'm just going to leave it be. And then trim click where need be if I feel it's the wind is pushing me up slightly so I'm going out to trim let in the trim indicator come back down there the winds really blowing me there but there oh, being blown about again okay I'll let the wind settle down hopefully a little bit That's why it's good to have some wind layer on just so you can see if you're practicing trim. Uh, just so you can see the effects on it and how you have to compensate for it. So either scattered clouds, clear skies or even live weather if you're brave. There you go. Click trim nose down. Click it again. Almost there. And actually at this point, again, I'll take hold of my throttle. It's easy with two hands this, of course, when you're not recording. But I'll just pull back slightly. You saw that, a slight pull back on my throttle. And that is level flight, so that's all trimmed out now. 
Took a bit longer than normal because I was using one hand basically to trim without adjusting small throttle adjustments. But that's the idea of it. I'm not going to touch them again now. As you can see, I'm in nice level flight. So that's how I do it until the wind blows me. But when the wind stops blowing me, I'll leave this on. When the wind stops blowing me, come on, you can see it's gone back to level flight. So listen, that's how I trim using the Holtas 1. Now let's move on to the Xbox Series S or X gamepad controller. Okay, so this time again on the Series S using my gamepad this time, let me start my camera. Now I've released the parking brake because it's a bit difficult to do with one hand. So I'm going to throttle up. Hope you like my groovy little cushion that I'm using as a prop here. Throttle all the way up, which is there. I've turned the vibration off because it kept moving around my knee with the vibration on. I'm just going to rudder to the, turn to the, use my rudder just to keep on centre line there. Well over takeoff speed, so I'm going to pull back on my left stick. I'm just going to gain a bit of altitude before I go to my trim buttons because it's a little bit more difficult with one hand with the gamepad. That will do. Move over to, to my right analog stick. I've got my right bumper. This is by default, I believe. Right bumper held down. And I'm just dabbing the right analog stick. Going to throttle back a little bit. So I've just dabbed my throttle back there. And I'm just going to dab trim nails down. So right bumper and right analog stick up. So it's a bit difficult for me to keep an eye on what's going on on screen. To keep an eye on my vertical speed indicator. Which is letting you know how much trim you've got in and recording at the same time. So do forgive me, I'm trying my best here. Frostle back a bit more, it doesn't like that, I'm over revving the engine. Already, look at that, level flight pretty much. The wind's going to blow me about, I'm just going to keep an eye on that. Might need to throttle back, click throttle back a couple of times. Because I'm so close to level flight there. This is a bit more linear and easier to trim, I find, using that combination, right bumper and analog stick, than it is in, on any other system, in fact. It's a lot easier to maintain and keep trim. Look at that, level flight. So there you go, that's how I do it with my Holtas 1, with my Flight Yacht system and with the gamepad here. I think the winds just blew me down a bit. And I want to get a bit higher. Let's continue. I want to get a bit higher. So I'm going to go trim nails up. Going to dab it a fair few times just so I'm in a climb. As you can see by my vertical speed indicator. On the left G1000. And there we go. I'll try and maintain that now. It's a lot easier with the gamepad. There you go, I'm pretty much in level flight there. Till the wind blows me a little bit. Is it going to come back down and settle down? I can actually... When you get to that point again, throttle is your friend here as well. Throttle back a little bit. Not so much that you're going to start falling out the sky. Tiny adjustments on your throttle. I'm actually using trim nails down there to get my trim back to where it was. There you go. So even with adjusting my altitude there, I was able to trim again. So listen, let me know your thoughts on the video. I hope it's been helpful. Not easy to show you exactly how it works. I can just show you my movements with hope that it helps you. If it has helped you, give the video a, a, a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more, many more flight simulator videos on the way. And I'll see you soon.